Oh, hello. I'm SLTBW. Uh, you've just caught me fishing. I'm fishing here on my AFK fish farm. Well, I'm not very AFK at the moment, but it is an AFK fish farm. And that's what I'm doing. Oh, you'd like me to tell you how to make an AFK fish farm? Oh, okay, then let me stop here and let me show you how to make an AFK fish farm. Sure, no problem, come with me. Hey guys, uh, yes I am IceltPW and today I am going to show you how to make an AFK fish farm for Minecraft 1.14.2 because 1.14.2 has just released and I have set up here how to make an AFK fish farm. Uh, I've tested this out, it works very successfully. I've done one of these videos before for 1.13.2 and this works in exactly the same principle. But just in case you haven't checked out that video, well, you might get to see this video instead. You can see here that I've set it up. This is very simple. I've just done this in very in different stages all the way up. This is stage one here where you've got your note block and I've dug out a four wide hole here. And I've the next stage here is I've added a chest. The next stage is I've added a hopper in here and I've connected it to the chest. I've then added a post. I've then put some water in. I have then put a pressure plate on top of the post. And then I've added some dirt here just so I can connect this trapdoor. And that's effectively your AFK fish farm. You could actually use this with the dirt block on top of the note block. And actually it's much quieter when you do that. It's just not as pretty, but it works exactly the same. And I've done this final stage over here. If you wanted to really expand this, where I have down here my number of my chests. And these are all connected here. You can see that all of these hoppers are coming all the way down here. There's hoppers in there, they're connecting to these chests. And as I'm AFK fishing overnight, uh, or for as if you're doing during your day and you're going away from your computer, you can go in here and you can collect all of your items. Simple as that. Now I've turned down the note blocks and jukebox sounds for this video just so you don't hear the annoying sounds of the note block in the background. So what can you get from an AFK fish farm? Well you can get lots of goodies like enchanted books and that's what makes the AFK fish farm an early game so OP. But you can also get these rods you can also get bows and you get all loads of other stuff, including fish, of course. You also get a tripwire hook, which is essential for making a crossbow. Which is obviously from the village and pillage update, which is the 1.14 overall update. And I have a crossbow in here. You will start off with just a normal wooden fishing rod, but very quickly, and I'll go back down here again, you get these upgraded fishing, uh, fishing rods and you will probably get one with unbreaking and mending or something similar. You can combine them on an anvil anyway. You can see here there's one with lure tree and mending. The one I have here is the best one that you can have. It has unbreaking tree, mending, lure tree and look of the sea tree. And the great thing with I'm gonna sleep soon, but the great thing with AFK fishing is you actually get XP as well. So as you're fishing, your XP goes up, but if you've got mending on your fishing rod, it also auto-mends, which is pretty awesome. Uh, already, I have upgraded my armor here. You can see I've got Aqua Affinity, I've got Protection 3 on the boots, I've got Fire Protection on the legs, and I've got Protection 4 on the chest plate. I've got Sharpness 4 and Unbreaking 3 on the sword, and I've got Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 4, Fortune 2, and Mending. I need to get Fortune 3 for this pickaxe. Anyway, without further ado, I'm going to show you how to make this, but I'm going to sleep first because I don't want any angry mobs coming up and attacking me while I'm showing you how to make the AFK fishing farm. First off, you place down your note block. And then you dig out four wide here. Just gonna pick up the dirt. We've got our two chests, and I'm gonna place those here. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop a dropper into that there, just like so. Very simple so far. Just no block, a chest, and a hopper. I'm then gonna put the fence on there just like this, and I've got my bucket of water here. And I'm going to place that just on there. And as you can see, it flows down automatically. And then I'm going to put my pressure plate on top of the post. I'm then going to put a dirt block on top of the notebook. The only reason I'm doing this is you need to shift. And that's not, that's a, not dirt block. That is a log, but that should do fine anyway. It's just to put the trap door on here. And that is it, guys. And I'm just going to sit here, aim at the note block. It opens up the trap door. The pressure plate reactivates the, the rod and keeps it in the water. And we keep going until we catch something. There we go. 
and we've got our first raw salmon. And the way you keep it AFK is you just keep it pressed. Now, there are some programs out there for auto-clicking. You can use an auto-clicker and a macro if you wish. I'm not going to be adding any downloads here to this. I'm not going to affiliate my name with a download of someone else's software, not knowing 100% where that software comes from. So what I do to AFK Fish Farm is I simply put a book on the right mouse button of my mouse and I just walk away. So the reason why I use this setup here with the glass, now I need a glass so that you can see through it, you can do this with anything, you can put wood, stone, anything like that. I just wanted to finish it off a bit, is mobs. If you want to do AFK fishing, it's obviously going to turn night at some stage and you don't want any mobs coming up and attacking you. So that's why I've got this enclosed here, glass so I can see out, so I can see what time of day it is. I've got a door there so mobs can't get in. And you could even put some torches in here, just in case you want you didn't want anything spawning in here or down there. And then I fish away here to my heart's content. Now I haven't had anything spawn inside of here while I've been in here, and I've been AFK fishing for one night fully. So guys, that is it. That is how you make an AFK fish farm. Uh, the reason why I set it up like this to show you, well, one, I think it's really interesting to see, you know, how it starts and how easy it is. I've also got a server coming very soon. I'm going to be putting that into one of the pinned comments as soon as the server is up and running. I've already started a server. I just haven't made it public yet. And I'm going to be bringing these tutorials onto that world so you can come in and see how to make these. So, for example, the AFK fish farm. I want to do other mob farms as well, etc. I want to do maybe an iron farm for with iron golems and you'll be able to come and actually go to the coordinates of the server and to see how this works and actually then come and uh, test it out for yourself. What I will say is AFK fishing is probably one of the best ways to start at your Minecraft. It's an easy way to get XP, it's an easy way to get enchantments and to become OP at the beginning. Obviously that's for early Minecraft but it will get you really started. Uh, but guys, that's it from me, Isol TPW. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it useful. And uh, a new concept and a new server coming soon. I hope, I think that's a good idea. I hope you think that's a good idea. I'd like to hear from you in the comments what you think of that. But it would also be awesome if you hit a like on this video, if, it did, if you did find it useful and you found it helpful. And if you would like to see more tutorials like this or any of the more mod showcases that I do, it would be awesome if you hit the subscribe button as well. Guys, thank you so much for watching this. I am Isol TPW and I'll see you again in another video. Bye-bye.